Today we're taking a look at this 100 watt SIGS solar panel from Bouge RV. And what you guys will notice is that this thing is fully flexible and very durable. And this is a 100 watt panel. And so we're gonna test uh, the output of this panel. But what I really like about this panel is the flexibility and the uh, install on this is extremely simple because all you have to do is peel off the already applied self uh, double-sided tape and stick it onto any surface. So what that means for you is there's no drilling um, of any sort, you just stick it onto the surface. So maybe you have like a teardrop um, trailer you wanna put this on. Uh, it can adhere to uh, curves and stuff, which is really nice. And um, if you wanna roll it up, I mean, you can just roll it up and take it with you. Now. Panels in the past haven't been this durable. Um, this new technology with the, the SIGS, uh, C-I-G-S, um, panels allows them to be really durable so they can be installed um, in permanent applications and you guys don't have to worry about them getting damaged or not lasting long enough. These are high quality, durable panels. Kind of cloudy today. Uh, we're gonna test, I'm gonna test this right now and see how many watts we can get out of this on a little bit cloudy of a day. Um, I'll also put numbers below um, for what I've got on sunnier days. So, so just so you guys can know how efficient this panel is. All right, so we got the panel propped up here on the windshield of the Jeep. Um, pretty good angle towards the sun. There is some a little bit of cloud uh, blocking the sun, but as you can see right here on the blue eddy, uh, we are pulling, uh, you can see right there, 78 watts. So that's pretty good for a not optimal sun. 79, starting to clear up a little bit more. They say that these SIGS panels are supposed to be extremely efficient. And so far I would have to agree. Um, usually just because like say this panel, cause it's rated at hundred Watts doesn't mean you're normally not ever really gonna see hundred Watts. Um, but with these panels, they say that you're actually supposed to see, end up seeing pretty close to that 100 watts and i'm going to put down below uh i'm going to do some tests on some perfect sunny days when the sun is at its peak and i'll put those numbers down below um, about what i average so you guys can have that info but um on a pretty sunny day with a little bit of clouds it's performing pretty optimally so i'm pretty happy with it so far um we're going to move the solar panel around and test it in a few different spots and see what we come up with so here's to show you guys uh we're at a poor angle now for the sun. Barely any of the panels really getting proper exposure. And we are still getting, sorry for the glare, 21 watts. So from my experience, that is very efficient. So sort of same setup as the hood uh, with it on the soft top here. Looks like we are pulling 22 watts. So pretty consistent, um, pretty good for not indirect sunlight. So what would be really nice if I had a hard top uh, on the Gladiator, I could mount two of these panels uh, up here and that would be a really slick setup to just leave on the roof um, all the time, which would be super cool. Um, but as it's a soft top and then my tent that's usually in the bed here, um, is also a soft canvas. So I don't really have a good spot to mount it on that either, but I can just roll this up and take this with me um, very easily. It takes up not very much space or I can uh, lay it flat and I can put stuff on top of it um, and it's very durable. So um, it can still be taken as a portable panel um, or it can be mounted uh, as a permanent panel, which is really nice to have the options. Another great spot that we could use this is on top of this spare tire rack uh, when the sun is at its peak uh, up in the, the highest point of the day. And uh, I can have my, uh, my Blue Eddy power supply here and that would work really nice. So lots of options uh, on how to use it. If you're in the market for a temporary or permanent solution for a solar panel and you're looking for a very efficient, uh, adaptable solar panel, then maybe check out this SIGS panel from Bouge RV. Um, I'm really happy with it. 
and I love the versatility that this panel allows uh, for me to have. I like being able to roll this up, which is super cool for a solar panel. Um, there's just not many panels that can do this. Um, usually they're large and fragile, which this is not. Um, it definitely is big. Um, they also have a 200 watt version. Um, if you want a little bit bigger panel, you can get uh, double the power there. Um, like I said before, extremely versatile for mounting on uneven surfaces like teardrop trailers. Um, and you're looking for an easy installation. As you guys can see here, this is the uh, double-sided adhesive tape that is already installed on the whole panel. So all you have to do is prep your surface, peel that off, and stick it down. And this is supposed to be good uh, for outdoor permanent use. And uh, it, it's very, it's very tough. And you can tell just from from you, from handling it that it's going to hold up. Um, now, obviously, I wouldn't want to like squish this down and completely fold it uh, flat against itself. Um, so it's not impervious to damage. That's gonna do it for the review of the Bouge RV uh, flexible solar panel. Um, if you like this video and you're not already subscribed, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on when I post my latest videos. Um, I have a lot more stuff coming this year, so uh, stay tuned for that. Still not can't speak on a ton of it, uh, but I got some big stuff in the works later in the year. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, also, can't wait to get out and camp and use the solar panel. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and pray.